planted your soul upon your own high Verse 27. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house for your soul. And it fell. Blew. Hello. <laughs> and it fell. And great was the fall of it. It didn't just tumble down. It fell. <laughs> just like the Twin Towers. You know, that's even in the Word, too. When the towers fell. So that was always in the Word, too. I ain't got time to kill it. Because I see something. Where's that? Where's that? No, I ain't got time. You gotta kill a giant. But the towers, when they fell, it's in the Bible too. Yeah, yeah. All right? Amen, and it came to pass, verse 28. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one <coughs> having authority Amen. and not as a scribe. So, in other words, what Jesus is telling you to do, stop building your house when you're depressed upon the sand. That's a representation of your soul. You can't build a foundation on the sand. You want to kill giants of depression? Start building it on a proper, proper foundation. Amen. 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 Start building it on a proper foundation. Now, I'm going to give you some things for loneliness. Loneliness, for those of you who are concerned, I'm going to write these down. Matthew, I wrote down Matthew 27, verses 45 and 46. Hebrews 12, 1 through 3. Resentment. I gave you Proverbs 26, verses 23 through 26. And for grief, I gave you John 11, verses 19 through 26. Psalms 30, verses 1 through 5. <coughs> Psalms 56, verses 8 to 13. And Psalms 116, verses 10 through 19. For pain, I gave you Job 33, 19 to 28. And Revelation 21 to 4. And for, for procrastination, I gave you just Proverbs 6, verse 6 through 11. And I know what that is. It talks about the 16 that God hates. And it talks about the slug. People who just want to be lazy. Do I have time to cover that? Do you want me to cover it? No, move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Conquering giants isn't accomplished without great skill and discipline. Instant gratification brings, watch this, y'all. Instant gratification brings long term consequences. You want to have instant, instant fun? Then the results are going to be long term. Amen. 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 All right. You must delay your gratification want to kill a giant. The way you do this is by counteracting the giant's way of attack by using prayer, here we cover this, by using prayer, vision, God's word, God's protection, moment by moment worship, rest, and then determination. I'm saying the way you do this is by counteracting the giant's way of attack by using number one, prayer. Number two, vision. Number three, God's word. Number four, God's protection. Number five, moment by moment worship. Number six, rest. Number seven, determination. Amen. Now, let's go to Psalms 27, and you want to see all this wrapped up in this little book. In this little chapter of Psalms 27. That's why David is showing you how to kill a spiritual giant. Amen? Amen. Psalms 27. Be with me, Lord. Help me convey this in the name of Jesus. Woo! Psalms 27. Then we're going to come to the close. Amen? Amen? Now, let's just start right at the top. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Amen. The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wickedness and my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Are y'all with him? Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. See it? Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will 
I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Now, that's prayer. That word desire is prayer. Remember the first thing I said you have to do is what? Have prayer. So the word desire is prayer right there. Let's keep going. So he said, one thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Now here we go. To behold the beauty of the Lord. That's vision. Yeah. Now, once I'm praying, I can envision God. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't getting this. Yeah. Yeah. They go to vision. And to inquire in his temple. Amen. Amen. Now, when you say an inquire in his temple, that's God's word. Amen? So right there, that one verse, y'all see how many things? It was God's what? Prayer, God's vision, and God's word was right there in that one verse. Let's go to verse 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Think of God's protection. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Hey, that's the right kind of rock, too. Amen. Amen. The foundation. Amen. Amen. So that's God's protection. Look at verse 6. And now shall my head be lifted up. up oh, my goodness. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around about. Oh, God, boy. Yes, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around about me. Therefore, when I offer in this tabernacle sacrifices of joy, I will sing. Yeah. It don't mean you ain't gonna have a slip up. 
God, man. I, don't, I hate to preach the word and expect you to walk out of here and be perfect. And that isn't it. But grab it and go down in your heart and mind and say, God, help me with it. Yeah. Amen? Amen. This preacher did not get all this. And the preacher's still working on some of this. Amen. 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 Sometimes I get mad at God. Why are you using me? And you know I still got that problem. Amen. Because you're my vessel. Amen. They can still see you're determined. Amen. And that's what it's about. Be determined. You, despite your fall, despite your mistake, be determined to do it. And we wait on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Father God, we just thank you in the mighty name of Jesus for this word that came forth, Lord. They once told me that this word would be too heavy for the people in friendship. They told me it would go over their head. But has it went over your head, friendship? No. I don't think so. Are we going to kill Jack? Yes. Yeah. Are we going to be determined? Yes. Yeah. Are we going to wait on the Lord? Yes. Yeah. Are we going to pray? Yes. Yeah. Are we going to have a vision? Yes. Yeah. Are we going to ask for God's protection? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's life right here. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.